carrier. Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is Carrier for the Dreamcast, and as my phone goes spammy. Uh, this is a game that I've wanted to play for ages, and was not actually the game that I was going to do. Obviously, Medieval has finished now, so we need another game to fill the slot. As we are playing um, Cold Fear, I thought there's another survival horror game set in the ocean on a ship isolated no not that one not that resident evil one no there's a little known dreamcast uh survival horror game that i have always wanted to play apparently back in the day this was reviewed really quite well uh i have never played this um i don't know much about it Apart from the fact that we are trapped on a carrier, an aircraft carrier, out to sea. And there's some weird voodoo going on. So, let's have a little look, shall we? On, off. What have we got on and off? We'll have the subtitles on. We'll have it in English, even though I'm sure the voice acting is awful. However, I have no idea. Um, but we shall have some of that. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, brightness is fine. My control pad does not look like that. Lil. I am using the Retro Fighters Striker 3D. Uh, my one that I originally bought was faulty. So I reached out to the company and they have replaced it. And I have a brand new one here. First time I've taken it out of the box for this Let's Play. So, I don't really know what to expect apart from uh, Resident Evil style game i guess let's go new game and see what happens i know nothing about the story or even the controls by the beginning of the 21st century the north south conflict had escalated to military confrontation the people of the countries of the south faced with an energy crisis and a food shortage had developed a deep-seated hatred for the north and as a result anti-North terrorist groups began to show up all over the world. In response, the countries of the North joined together to create the Northern Hemisphere Treaty Alliance, NTA. The goal of this organization was to stop the Southern terrorists. In 2023, the NTA completed construction of the Heimdall aircraft carrier. With its stage defense system and connection to the satellite defense system, the Heimdall is like a steel wall invulnerable to any sort of air-based attack. The first mission for the Heimdall was to attack the base of the Southern Cross terrorist group. This was called the Hurricane Mission. During an attack that lasted only a few days, the base was completely destroyed and the Heimdall was able to head back to its home port in North America. However, approximately two days of travel from port, the Heimdall fell silent, failing to respond to any communication from NTA. Concerned about the Heimdall, a Spark investigation team was put together and sent to determine what happened. Spark, eh? The Heimdall incident. Okay, I was not expecting that to be voice acted. Fairly adequately as well. Competently, I should say. Ooh. Ooh, that's moody. Lieutenant Manning. It's nothing. It's just part of my stuff. Who's in the picture? This? It's my brother. Oh, yeah. Your brother's on the Heimdall, right? Well, I'm sure he'll be dead then. Yeah, thanks. Kunibert's team should already be on ship. Yeah, they must have started the investigation already. There it is, 10 o'clock. Behind. Let it approach carefully. Roger. <laughs> now, see anyone on the flight? Huh. 
Oops. wasn't good. Point defense system just shooting us down like that. Oof. Very ominous looking carrier as well. I like it. Heimdall. That doesn't sound very uh, American either, I might add. And we are wearing some weird and funky armor. I like it. Very camp. And what the hell is with that helicopter? Looks weird, man. Anywho, less worrying about that kind of stuff. On your feet, soldier. Why? Why did they shoot us down? Uh, I have no idea. Leonard, Lieutenant Manning, am I the only one that made it? Hmm, that would be unfortunate. Is that... Is that a zombie? Leonard? Maybe. Leonard. Jack. Oh, Jesus. Leonard, are you okay? Hang on. Looks like my leg's no good. Your leg? Don't move it. I'll take care of it. This is Colonel Burke. Spark Team, do you copy? Colonel Burke, Jack. Jack, you're a bit late. Have you finally landed? Colonel, the helicopter was attacked. What? What? So that was the big noise I heard earlier. <laughs> weren't attacked when we landed. It must be the work of Southern Cross. We don't know about that. Now we must begin the investigation. And the other members, are they okay? I don't know where Lieutenant Manning is. She's disappeared. The pilot Leonard is with me now, but he's badly injured. I see. See if you can find a first aid kit and do what you can for Leonard. Done? Begin your investigation. Yes, sir. I don't know what's going on, but it's clear that things are not what they seem. Maybe Leonard is safer on the flight deck. Yeah, I'll leave him here. I'll check the ship and bring back any first aid supplies I can find. I'm counting on you. We'll get back to the investigation on this end. Lang should be checking the ship data in the security room. When you're done, catch up with him and see what he's discovered. Then continue your investigation. Yes, sir, Colonel. Be careful. Wait for me, Leonard. I'll get a first aid kit. Oh. 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 Oof. I, I, I'm sorry, Jack. I'll be right back. Hang on, okay? Well, to be fair, Leonard, if it wasn't for your uh, skills, we probably would have died in the helicopter. So, let's go get our friend here a medikit. And we're called Jack. Alright, Jack. Uh, so we are facing off against zombies. Zombies from the sea. Do you not have a gun, dude? Oh, look at his brain. Oh, shit. Um, I think Leonard's about to buy the farm. Leonard, what happened? I get. Oh, fuck. Leonard! Damn. Why doesn't it move? Oh, hey, friend. What? Who the hell are you? Yeah, I wouldn't be asking it questions. I mean, it kind of looks very Resident Evil 4. Guess they can be killed easy enough. What, 
What the hell's going on? Leonard was... By that? I guess so, Jack. I guess so. Please, work. I guess we're screwed. All right, well, we'll shit our luck with the elevator then. Uh... Leonard, I'm sorry. I wish I could have done something. The animations and whatnot. I was about to say are not terrible, but then <laughs> this chap wandered what the in. Hell is going on here? I've no idea, uh, Jack, but I'm enjoying the ride. Okay, uh, right. Buttons, they do stuff, I guess. So, how do I shoot? Right, A button is shoot. Oh, God, hang on. Right, so we do actually have an aiming reticle of sorts. Ah, they melt away. Okay. Can we, like, examine these guys? I guess so. So the A button is to examine. D-pad kind of runs us around. Got ya. What does start do? Okay, so start gives us our equipment screen. 9mm automatic pistol. Automatic? With a 15 round magazine. Manufactured by e &H. Uh Cool. Uh, 19 o'clock. Cool. What the hell is that? Welder emits a high energy burst of electrons. Use is unlimited. Okay. Um. Alright, so we've got that equipped. Use. Ah, so we have. Right. Level 1 energy drink. Oof. So we're packing some monster. Okay. Right. We have a handful of bullets. Not a huge amount. Mild healing drink. Cool. And we can look at shit too. Well, apparently we can't. But alright. Was that? No, that's all we have. Okay, so we don't have like a map or anything. At least not that I'm aware of. Alright, let's go through the door then. Alright, Jack. Let's explore. So we've got like weird... Uh, flower head zombies. Kind of strange. They're... Well, I mean, they're something... Visually, this game's interesting. You know, it's definitely um, quite the jump up from what you'd expect from a, a PlayStation game of the time. And the facial animations, although they're quite simplistic, they're, they're okay. They're, they're all right. It's definitely a, a Dreamcast game. It's interesting that the Dreamcast was in the same uh, generation as the original Xbox. Because, oof, it certainly lagged behind those in power. And actually, after seeing, um, I mean, this was a first generation Dreamcast game, so you can't really judge it too hard. We never really saw what the Dreamcast could have done. It didn't get the chance. There were some very impressive games on the Dreamcast. What you have to remember as well, the Dreamcast was actually released in Japan in 19... the ass end of 1998. So, you know, it, it was three years nearly. Well, two years before the PlayStation 2. Right, let's keep exploring. I've no idea, like, how we save the game. Do we have save rooms or something? I guess so. Some nice lighting effects. Uh, obviously, Code Veronica came out as well. Uh, only a few months after this game and probably uh, blew this game's socks off. So we've got Medical and we've got the Port Side Elevator, which is the one we just come from. I like it. I'm liking this. Alright, what have we got here? Is this Medical? It's locked. A3 lock is written above the key slot. Right, so I guess we need to find key cards and such, which, well, of course we do. So we have security. Medical, I guess, is the room that's locked. This is security. Oh, what's that? Is that anything? Is that just like trash on the floor? I guess that's just trash on the floor. 
Door is locked. A1 lock. Okay, so we need A1 and A3. That looks like a zombie over here. Oof. So the bullets are actually like physical things. Which is interesting. Okay. Hmm. I like it. And one thing I do like about this as well. Oh, hello. Who is it? <laughs> it's me, Lang. Jesus. Jack? I heard from the colonel that you were shot down by the intercept system. I never thought I'd become the target of my own team. Mm. It's hard to believe. I'm checking the system, but it only seems to get worse. At this rate, the whole ship will be affected. By the way, what happened to Lieutenant Manning? Did the lieutenant bite it or <laughs> what? We were separated. I don't know what happened. As for the helicopter pilot, he was attacked by some sort of monster. He's dead. Monster? What do you mean? Huh? You didn't see them? The monsters that look like humans? No, I haven't seen anything. At least not on my way here. The intercept system's gone haywire. Something very strange is happening here. And if we don't figure out what's going on soon... Anyway, the colonel's on deck three. Dr. Noble should be on his way to the lower decks. But I haven't heard from him. For now, we need to join the colonel. Yes, sir. I'm trying to open the partition to deck two. But I need two more activation discs. There are two more discs like this one on deck one somewhere. Floppy discs. Jack, see if you can find them. Meanwhile, I'll see what I can find around here. All right. Seems reasonable. Okay. Yes, sir. There should be an ID card in the medical room in this area. Here, take this. You should stock up on medicines in case... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. I like this. And it's nice to be running in 60 FPS, but then 60 FPS was quite common for the Dreamcast. So we've got a DV tape. Okay. And uh, the A3 ID card, which we needed. A little bit hard to see items that we can pick up, but it's not too bad. This ship is going to be huge, isn't it? A panel to record the status of the... Oh! Fucking save points, son. Yes. 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 Oh, save points. My God. Thank you. Ah, oh, save points. Who would have thought save points would have been such a missed and loved um, feature of the game? I'm going to leave this part here, guys, actually, because this is... Uh, we're 20 minutes in. This is I'm, I, I'm trying some new things with my Dreamcast recording setup. So I'm going to have a quick gander um, and see how this video came out. If everything's good, we'll go back to half an hour long videos after this one. Uh, this... Hmm... Promising start. Very promising start. Camp and cheesy, but that's what we like. It's that delicious, delicious cheese. Will the game stay good? Or will it uh, start to rot halfway through? I don't know, but we're going to find out. So, thanks for watching, guys, and as always...